Welcome to this training video on time and labor. This first video is going to show you how to create your employee group for payroll. This is formerly known in our previous software, Kronos, as a self query. Okay, so this is your self service portal. First of all, you're going to head to time and labor, and this is the area where you're going to do all your payroll things. So you're going to head to time and labor here. And this first page just gives you a quick overview of everything. We're just going to really be focusing on our employees uh, group for this first um, training video. So you're going to go up to the top here, and you're going to find employee group. I'm going to click on there. And basically here you'll be able to see all of the supervisors um, that do payroll for stuff. Um, so as you can see, it's a long list. An easy way to search is by group name. Uh, we suggest putting in the last person's name. So we're going to look at Becker, click search, and we have Margaret Becker up here. Here you can see you can click on our name or you can click view. If you click view, this will just show you everyone in her group. Um, use the toggles at the bottom to kind of see the whole list. And if you click on our name, this is where you can add um, people to the group. So by default, HR is set up um, these for you for everyone that you directly supervise. So as you can see at the top, it's uh, done by their last name, but then all active staff. Again, this is everyone that you directly supervise. Uh, we know here at the Y that people might have multiple supervisors, um, and you may need to do, be, do payroll for people that you're not the direct supervisor in their primary role. So to do that, um, this middle section here, employee search, is where you can kind of filter down to the available employees and put them in your group. We kind of suggest um, you can either do it one by one as you kind of first set up. So we're going to look at um, adding someone to the group. So I've searched last name Watson. So then now you can see the available employees are down here. Watson Gavin. Um, it gives kind of a, your information there. And to add them to the group, you're going to click the checkbox there, and you kind of see it goes to the other side here, selected employees. To save Gavin within Margaret Becker's um, employee group, you're going to click there and then just press either save, save and return, or save and view group. I always like to press save and view group just as a double check to see that Gavin went in there. After you've done that, you can search through your list and just see that Gavin has been added there. Again, this list has been created by HR, but it's important that you go into this list before the first payroll to make sure that you have all of the correct employees in your group. And also, you can add people as, um, as, your, as your group uh, grows over time. Um, so that's how you add someone to your group. And I think that's everything. Um, again, if you want to go to the section, you can just go to the top, employee groups, uh, and play around. And then um, make sure you're just editing people for you, your supervisor yourself, just because this is your responsibility to build this out and your responsibility to do payroll for people that work in your department. If you have any questions, please reach out to HR. We're happy to support. Thank you.